Welcome to video number 14, the Y-Belt assembly. In this video we are going to run the Y-Belt and then fix it in place just like we did with the X-Belt in the previous video. Once we are finished here, then we will have full motion uh, between the X-axis and the Y-axis. So make sure before you start running your belt that your Y idler is facing completely straight and horizontal towards the Y motor. Now you don't want it tilted up or down, you want it completely straight. Uh, that's because if you already have it tilted and you go to fix your belt, then you're going to lose your tension as soon as it goes back to its straight position. So once you have that, then go ahead and make your first loop around the Y belt holder on the bottom side of the heat bed mount. Once you have your first loop set on the Y belt holder, then go ahead and run your belt all the way through and go ahead and make your second loop to put on there. Now this can be really tricky uh, because you're kind of having to put tension both coming towards you and away from you in order to get a, a pretty good grip on the Y belt holder. But do your best to get the belt tight and thankfully for this design we have the idler that we can raise up to actually give us more tension. So it is important to get it tight, but you don't have to get it as tight as we did the X belt, simply because it's almost impossible, and also because we have a idler that we can adjust. So we've got the belt fixed and we've clipped our zip ties and now I'm tilting my idler up to adjust the tension. And there's two different ways you can fix this in place and right now I'm just taking my wrench and I'm going to tighten the nut on the side of the idler to hold it in place. You can also use the set screw on the bottom of the idler to twist it into the threaded rod to hold your position. Either way just make sure you get a good tension on the belt and you hold it in place. Okay, so once our belt is fixed, this part is probably the most difficult, I'd say. And mine's actually already pretty close, but what you wanna do is you wanna grab your belt and you wanna work it back and forth and you're gonna see your belt slipping to one side or the other indicating that your belt isn't completely straight down the middle. That means that either your Y idler or your Y motor side isn't exactly dead in the center. So you're gonna want to, you know, adjust them back and forth until you get it centered up. And this can take a lot of time, uh, but just get it as close as you can to where whenever you're moving the, the bed back and forth, you're not seeing it slip completely off the bearing. But, like I said, it's almost impossible to get it perfect, but just do your best. <laughs> 